Hi everyone, Hi. Celia and Jason, and we're here to film episode five of Where's the Food 2019, and we're both really stoked because we're about to feast on what Dumbly. we love, which is... <laughs> so, anyway, um, come with us while we feast, and see you later. in Edmore. Uh, the original stores in Australia are in Burwood and they opened up in 1994 in China. And they've and got have a billion stores around the world. <laughs> 140. Very <Yep>. close. <laughs> it's a lot. Okay, so what we have in front of us, we've got the steamed pork dumplings or xiaolongbao, pan fried pork bun, and then the pan fried vegetable and pork bun. Then we've got the spicy dumplings in red chili oil and peanut sauce, and the vegetarian version in the of the same sauce. Yep. yep. And then vegetarian dumplings. And oinkers. Oinkers. Custard bun. Look how cute they are. <laughs> I feel like I should just pick this one up with my fingers. No. I just had a straight in. A lovely pork bag on. It's like a really clear broth. I mm. can feel a little bit oily. But it kind of coats your whole mouth. Yeah. But you can kind of see the texture of the skin. Like it's not too chewy and yeah. it's not too soft. It's got a nice bite to it, holding all the juices together. Good lord, this is going to go everywhere. I'm totally stabbing it. Okay, I just learned about all the soup. The pigs. Pigs. Pigs are wet. The pigs are so wet. <laughs> the pigs are covered in pork juice. <laughs> so Yang Zumbly is like very famous for this pan fried pork. Which goes everywhere. When you said to be careful, that's why. <laughs> so again, the, pa the pastry is very mm. thin. That, but that level on the bottom, yeah, I love it. It's like a tiny bit thicker, mm. and the crispiness is. <sighs> it's such a good texture, mm. and it's got a nice bite to it. The nice meat inside, like the mint inside. Can we have a pause for one minute, for one second? I need napkins <laughs> and. This is one that I'm obsessed with. I'm very keen. It's got the red chili oil and the peanut sauce. I'll oh, do it. Do it. Do a double decker. <laughs> because it's just packed full of ingredients. Also soup filled? No soup filled. <laughs> the first thing that you taste is that peanut sauce. Mm. Heavy satay flavours. The chili at the back end. The wrapping is really nice. Mm. That, so, um, nice and thin, kind of translucent, like you can see the light coming through it. Yeah. Really and cool. look at that. Oh, that sauce. Oh! This oh. one looks like it's got more peanut sauce than that one. This one, I feel like you definitely need to put some sauce on it. What are the sauces? This is soy sauce. This is vinegar. You like vinegar with your... What's the What's the purpose? I like the vinegar because it cuts through some of the fat and the oil. Okay. And it's kind of tired. I think you might like it more. Mm. Personally, I think I prefer the soy. I do get how it breaks through that mm. fatty, layer, fatty layer. This one's a prawn one, same as that, but it's got prawn and pork inside. Again, you can hear like how dry yeah. that bump. Oh, this one's going to be all soupy, isn't it? <laughs> you can see that Preparing. the bump is very dry from when they pan fry it. Oh, <laughs> it's no. not even hard to catch. It's, it's, <laughs> it's leaking. Okay, i got to get in there. Oh. <laughs> Hi everyone, so we're kicking off venue two in the dumpling category and we're at the Sydney Institution known as the Chinese Noodle House. So, uh, if you've ever been to the Haymarket area and you walk past this end of it, you will always see heaps of crowds out the front. It is Daytime, packed. nighttime, 
time, all the yeah. time. <laughs> and they've been operating for about 10 years, mm -hmm. and they're really quite famous for their noodles, but they're also quite famous for their dumplings, yeah. hence why we're here. So, huge, huge spread. Mm. <laughs> Again. <laughs> These are called uh, Siu Long Bao. I guess. Yeah, in, what she said. <laughs> in Cantonese. And so these ones, I think you would have them quite often, which has the oh. soupiness inside. I can't even pick the bloody thing up. Don't pop it! Mmm! <laughs> mm. It's so juicy! Mm. And it's got it's that so soft. beautiful fort, uh, pork fat through it. And the skin itself is not chewy, it kind of just melts in your mouth. Yeah. I could have like 20, <laughs> 20 of those. So this isn't actually part of it, but we're just gonna have a quick one of these. Yeah. So this is what they're really well known for, which is... Uh, eggplant. Yeah, eggplant. It looks so saucy. Mm. And it's fried. Mm. It's got a bit of a caramelization from that, the sauce. I think it of garlic. Mm. Mm. Okay, back to dumplings. Okay, dumplings. So this is pork and chive pan fried bun. Yep. Yeah. I'm mm. scared. I don't want what it happened. Didn't, like, it didn't what? quite squirt. <laughs> nice no squirts. No squirts. No squirts. But the bow is very fluffy. It's, it's very almost fluffy. like a cake. Like a... <laughs> it's like a bun. Mm. Nice bun. With a very it's nice... very, very sweet. It's got that kind of mm, brioche the... kind of taste to it. And the bottom is nice and crispy. Oh, so now we've got a pork prawn and chive steamed dumpling, and we've got two of them because they're one really good. Onion, one onion. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I love chives and pork. It's such a good combination. I can really tell that they like hand make everything here. Like, I mean, they're all perfect in terms of the size, but they're yeah. all like a little bit very different. Wonky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we haven't had this one, have we? Mm -mm. So these are pan-fried pork and chive dumplings. Pork and chive, yeah. Seriously, it's a mountain of dumplings. I do like the pan-fried. It gives it that extra texture. Mm -hmm. Is this a juicy one? I don't know, you can be the... Oh! <laughs> Why me? Never before eating dumplings have I had squirters. <laughs> um, it appears every dumpling that I eat Where's the food? Has a squirt tendency. Ha ha! That's how I like my dumplings. <laughs> Squirting. <laughs> Please put that in the video. <laughs> <laughs>
actually see how much soup there is inside. Oh! Whoa. It's a, it's a great amount of soup in there. And the first one we've eaten that hasn't exploded into a, a massive squirt fest. But it's also of the size where you can put the entire thing in your mouth. So hands down, best dumpling in Sydney. It's a pork and prawn dumpling in a chili oil broth. And it has a nice little spice kick to it, but the flavors just, the payoff is insane. It's divine. Again, super translucent. Mm. Mm. Like, pastry to that. It's insane. That chili oil, so, mm. it's just like a hug going down your throat. Love it. It's not that spicy, but the shrimp is very bouncy inside. Yeah. I just want to eat all of this. It's so smooth, it's silky. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Let's go for this one. So my. Thank you. Which is a dumpling. It's got a, a nori sea. A uh, little shrimp inside. Yeah, so it's and a different fold that puts a cork in the top. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Mmm. The wrapping on that is thicker than the other. Absolutely, yeah. And this one is just a little, like a bubble that was burst in your mouth. This one is pork and prawn. the pork and prawn. I'm not gonna, help. I'm gonna need my spoon to help pick that. Oh, look how much, yeah. how generous that is. Oh, oh! This is going to be just a messy eat. Yeah. Should I just put the whole thing in my mouth? Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. It's a much different broth. A lot lighter. Sort of less umami and more of that sort of salty chickeny flavour. Mm -hmm. But the because it's in the soup, the skin is extra silky, extra mm. smooth, and it just falls apart like a beautiful noodle. Yeah. So this is a special that they have because it's truffle season. Mm. Mm. Ah. Salt. Ooh. Mm, you can see the bits of truffles come out. Yeah. And you can smell it. Yeah. It's like really, really intense kind of truffle earthiness. Do you see the bits of truffle in there? Yum. I'm going in. <laughs> How bloody good is truffle? And it's not overpowering. You know, like no. a lot of truffle places, they might overdo it, but that one slice. Yeah. Is so well with I it. think I don't know. Personally, I think the truffle thing, the fad, is kind of losing its shine. Mm. And I think a lot of people now they're either shaving on the top, which doesn't have much flavour, and they're not yeah. infusing it properly. But having the truffle in with the soup is giving it this beautiful. Yeah. It's what truffles are made for. Yeah. Oh, it incorporates all the ingredients together mm. into that soup. It's just that soup that you really want to get a huge mouthful of. Like, I wish I could pour all the soup and all the dumplings into one spoonful and just drink it. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> For breakfast. Okay, hot stickers. I really want to crack this. <laughs> so how they cook it is, it's like a bit of flour with water okay. on a pan, and that's where you get this from. And then they steam it to mm. so get the top being soft. <laughs> From here, I like the crispy part. Mm. Mm. There's like big chunks of mushroom in there, some ginger, and each like dumpling is really packed full of filling. Yeah. That is huge. But not, um, it's still quite a, a small manageable yeah. size. It's a perfect mouthful. Mm. I'm in dumpling heaven. So, we have wrapped the dumpling category. Mm -hmm. And it was sensational. I wish the there was like six venues that we could have filmed at. <laughs> um, so, as a wrap up, what did you think? Yang's is my favorite. Yes. Uh, those <laughs> they were delicious. Buns, oh my god. Yeah. Funniest shoot ever. Yeah, the I thought you were going to say like, funniest shoot ever. <laughs> 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 they were insane. I did love the, the, the buns, and I had a problem there because everything I bit into just went. <laughs> Oh. Not a problem because it was that, soup was that was sweating out. But sitting next to you was a problem because yeah. I had I should have won a beer. She loved it. Okay. <laughs> Second was Chinese Noodle House. Yeah. I think for the um the cost, the price, yeah. I think pretty good. I mean they're very good filling inside. Yeah, and yeah. they're 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 placed down near all the language schools in Haymarket. Mm. Very discounts so the students love it. You get lots for what you pay for. Mm. And yeah. it's all home. 
it's all yeah. made in, in sharp. Yeah, enjoyed so it. it's it's really good. Yeah. Din Tai Fung, where we just finished up. My like, favorite. Yeah, it's Hands more down. refined. Well, yeah. they've been doing it for so long. Right? Yeah. Since 1922. It's not got... that long. It's such a young age. Um, but it was beautiful and so fine and the flavours were so nuanced. Mm. It was it was divine and I probably ate three times the amount of dumplings there than I had anywhere else. Yeah, I couldn't because you ate all of them. <laughs> That's a lie. That's a lie. So, exciting news because we get to announce what the next category is. Yep. And you want to do it? It is chicken parmi. Yeah. Oh, any parmi. Yeah, well, schnitty parmi. More schnitty long. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Schnitty. 